Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Uh, today we're doing a follow-up video on the laptop review we did last week. Uh, if you have not checked out that video, I will leave a link to that. Uh, this is the Leopard Pro from MSI. Uh, so today, as you can see, we upgraded this laptop. Uh, we added an NVMe SSD. Uh, it's the 600P from Intel. Uh, this is priced very close to a regular SATA SSD. Um, you're going to get phenomenal read speeds out of it. <clears throat> Write speeds are closer to on par with a SATA SSD. Um, so it's not something like a Samsung 950 or a 960 Evo, uh, but it's also not priced up there as well. Um, we also added another 8 gigs of DDR4, um, so that brings the total to 16. We're going to redo our benchmarks, uh, well, some of the benchmarks. We're not going to redo the gaming benchmarks because those didn't change. Uh, but we will do the other benchmarks again and we're going to take a look and see what the difference is and see if it was worthwhile. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we did get some substantial gains from our upgrade. Uh, we didn't see as much of a gain or any gain at all in Cinebench, and that doesn't surprise me. Uh, Cinebench will show some gains from memory, but it's more so memory speed uh, rather than the amount of memory that's in the computer. Um, Realbench, uh, we saw some really good gains on that, uh, as well as Passmark. Um, the majority of the gains that we saw, I would say, was from the SSD. Uh, we will see some gains from adding the other 8 gigs of RAM, but that's going to be in tasks such as video editing. So when I take this with me out of town, um, hopefully it's going to allow me to continue to bring you guys content even if I'm not at home. At least that was the plan when I bought it. One issue that I had during the upgrade that I wanted to share with you guys uh, was installing the SSD so it's super easy to get the laptop apart you just take off all the screws on the rear panel there is one hidden under that void sticker as you can see uh, once you get those off the back just pops off I used a plastic scribe out of my iFixit toolkit to, to get that off the screw that holds the uh, M2 drive in um, I made it look much easier on camera than it actually was off camera, I actually had to use a pair of pliers to loosen that screw up enough to be able to take it out with a screwdriver. Now, keep in mind, I do use that iFixit toolkit, and it comes with just about every bit you could ever need for a computer. This screw, I don't know what the Phillips head is on it, but it did not match any of the bits in my kit. So, be mindful of that if you have this laptop and you want to do that upgrade. It's okay to use pliers to initially get it loosened, but please be careful. If you slip, and you hit the motherboard, you're probably going to destroy the laptop. So be mindful of that and be careful if you're going to upgrade. And that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Uh, please get subscribed if you aren't already. Uh, at the time of recording this video, we're about 5 subscribers away from 300. Um, huge milestone for me personally. I have no one to thank but you guys. So thank you so much for that. And we'll see you in the next one.